so in the last video we have found out why um, having immutable data so data that never changes is good for preventing bugs like this and in this video we're going to look at something uh, else at another very very important rule in functional programming and it is the rule of pure functions you always want to have pure functions so another question arises what what are pure functions well they are functions that only depend on their input right so only depend on their arguments right for example these two functions are not pure because they depend on this piece of data which is not passed in by, as an argument but which is just in the global state over here and whenever we pass in the same input we should always get the same output always right these are pure functions so how can we do this we can just say we get some form of data like this and this is a number we know that and we're going to do the same thing over here so we get the data and this is a number now all we have to do is pass it in so we just say we pass in the data from over there down here and we're going to create a function like this so we can also pass it in over here and now as you can see it actually works um, over here as you can see and that is because we actually create copies of the original variable all right this is a copy of the variable it is a different variable just with the same value so this is a great thing with pure functions so we also can prevent bugs using pure functions but we still want to have the immutable data and that is for one very very big reason and that is if we have got an object as a data for example like this um, this is what I showed you in the last video right so we've got an object with a field of results of 20 and this object right if we pass that in first of all we have to change the typings over here so result is um, equal to number over here well now we're passing in the results uh, so we have to actually change it over here like this now let's see what happens now and as you can see this time the bug has reappeared and that is because we're not creating uh, a copy of the original variable what we're actually doing is we're just creating a new pointer to the same variable to the same object so that clearly shows that we need both pure functions and immutable data that is the mentality behind functional programming if we just use both we can prevent bugs so we just get rid of mutable data and get rid of impure functions so I'll turn this into constant first of all and this in itself doesn't help because we still have got this so we have to change it we have to say const new data for example is equal to um, a new piece of data with a new result which is gonna have data result plus one alright so this would work so now you can see the combination of pure functions and immutable data will create a very can cr prevent a lot of bugs and can be really really good. So in the next video, I'm gonna we're gonna look at some cases, some use cases of this, and how we can actually uh, work around all of these limitations that it brings with it. So I'll see you then. Bye.